Join us as we go in search of a springtime Tom in Kentucky's 2012 youth turkey season. Well, it's that time of year again, the youth turkey season here in Kentucky, and uh, my son and I get out and do a scouting trip two days before the season opener, set up our blind and see what we can find out on the farm we've hunted for the last five years. And as you can see from this video, we found a pretty good bird with some hens, and it held uh, high anticipation for the Saturday morning opener. All right, well, we're set up. Can't wait till Saturday morning. Hopefully we'll get a shot at that big tom we just saw. Well, it's April the 7th, 2012. Uh, got John Parker out here in Shelby County, Kentucky for the youth opener, turkey season. Got a big old full moon this morning. Just we're getting ready to dip down behind the horizon to the east. We got daybreak on its way, so. Hopefully we can get back on this big gobbler that we saw two days ago over here and uh, we'll make it a successful morning. Stay with us. Well, finally this old boy showed up uh, with his partner in tow. I don't know if you could see him down by the woods, but uh, they were chasing a lady and we had a hard time calling him off. Well, after a couple hours in the blind and watching this old boy gobble down behind us, uh, our young hunter decided it was time to make a move, so we decided to put a sneak on this old bird and see if we could get in front of him. Go out, go get it, go get it, go get it. Make sure your safety's on. Yes. Hold <laughs> All right, but hold on, you might start kicking. Watch it. Watch out, watch out. Man, his spurs are huge. Dude. Dude, you did it. <laughs> excellent, man, excellent. Oh, what do you think? What do you think about that, huh? That was awesome. All right, folks, John Parker has killed a monster turkey. I'm telling you, this thing has maybe inch and a half spurs. Let's take a look at these spurs on this bird. I'll turn it sideways, honey. Grab this other leg down here. How about that? Lay your hand up against it. Lay your, lay your palm on the back of it. Look, look at the spur on this bird. 
And he's got one to match on the other side. My goodness. Let's check his beard out. A nice beard as well, probably at least ten and a half inches. Well yeah, John Parker was explaining a little earlier. Our blind is right up there in the corner. We got in here this morning, we had them gobbling on the roost. We had two. There was another one we think with this one just a few minutes ago. But uh he was hinned up. He had a hen, one single hen and he was right down here over the hill and he would not come in for nothing. And much to John Parker's credit, he was ready to make a move like a real hunter does sometimes and do an end around on him. And we snuck clear down, we sneaked clear down through here, down this over the top of the, over this hill right here, back up this way to that point right there. And we just let this bird come around the corner. We just so happened to spook the hen out and she flew over the hill here, which gave us a great opportunity because we didn't have those eyes. And he came right around the corner, uh, gobbling. And uh, John Parker put the smack down on him. Uh, John Parker's very first bird was right down there in that corner. The seven shot, 25 pound gobbler. I think he just uh, I think he just got one that might rival that bird. It does in spur length, certainly. But uh, that's the first time we've gotten out of the blind. John Park will be 13 this year. And I gotta tell you, this was a dad's dream to have over the shoulder film of his son killing a bird like this. So it was absolutely awesome. What do you think, Bob? I think it's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty awesome, isn't it? This has been a Fit to Kill production.